Anyhow, went by our club. Still got a cold, but let's uh, build something for a friend. My friend got this box of uh, combat patrol from Warhammer last Christmas. It's summer now, <laughs> and he did not build it. So I challenged him in mid of June. If he finishes the box until end of June, I'll make some terrain for him. And that is what I'm going to do now because he did it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it will be some post apocalyptic terrain for his gaming table. He will swap out two pieces uh, made of cardboard he still has lying on there. I found this incredible nice piece of plastic inside of a... Hmm, it's a metal box filled with crayons and the crayons are lying in those, uh, in those ripples. I, I ripped it out. It is hard plastic, not, not flimsy, it's sturdy and it's got this nice shape. So I'm making some concrete walls and sticking this plastic to it and that's my main detail. So it's a side blocker and uh, he has some kind of industrial wall with no real function. Nice, grimy, dirty, dusty, grimy, grimy dirty, dirty, dusty, dusty a little bit rusty. rusty. <laughs> <laughs> no centerpiece, just something to fill the table and have a nice light of side blocker. To the long wall, I stick some cardboard, gives it a little bit more texture and maybe some more structural integrity. A small l shape piece. This wall is a little bit crumbled. On the other one, it will be a regular wall for a cover and stuff like that. It's standing better with an l shape piece on it. PVA, of course. I'm mixing PVA and a gray and some tile glue powder in there. It's really fine and it's uh, it's getting rock hard. Uh, and this will be my base coat. It's a lot of PVA in there. No additional water. This will be a nice shell for the XPS. Drying in the sun. I made that time lapse. I thought it would be visually more interesting. <laughs> yeah. Nice try. So while the time lapse was filming, I glued some styrofoam into the hollow space of this plastic. So I have more contact points with the wall where I can glue it to. Some old bottle caps from paint bottles. I also filled in the hollow space with uh, scrap pieces of styrofoam and now I'm using acrylic caulking to glue it to the wall because I want to do some washes later and sometimes for the small heavy pieces the wash reactivates the PVA and then the piece is falling off again. That does not happen with acrylic caulking. I'm adding some diamond plate XPS stuff. My brother gave me this XPS and it has this surface with a diamond plate uh, that's better to glue it to the ceiling for example for insulation. It's not cool to carve in there. So I'm taking off three millimeter thin slices uh, of the XPS and use it as diamond plate metal plates for the wargaming that looks really nice. Gluing it down with PVA. <laughs> I'm soaking the top of the wall with PVA and then sprinkle some rougher sand on there. After that, some fine sift earth, soil, and then also some of that fine powdery tile glue stuff. It's not tile grout, it's the glue you put it on the wall with. I mixed some brown with PVA and also some of that tile glue powder stuff and uh, base coating all the, the metal parts, the diamond plate. I don't care if the color uh, gets onto the concrete gray, 
a light coat of dry brush from top to bottom, mostly only the top parts to simulate uh, light on the edges. I'm just dry brushing on some highlights with a beige tone. Mixing three gray tones, dark, medium, light, and then stippling it on to the object. The dark gray will go in the lower third, the medium gray in the midsection and the light gray in the top section. That yeah, gives it nice depth. In the end I'm uh, putting on a wash. Uh, it's uh, not black, it's dark gray and I'm only putting it on mostly in the bottom area, in the, in, the, in the lower half section, a little bit on top, mostly in the bottom section for more shadow. It's really watery, so when the piece is standing upright, um, the wash will run down and make a gradient on the object. So now it's drying time, after that some pigment powders I forgot to film and then uh, we are done with the rusty crusty piece of wall. See ya!